And before I forget, they said that because Divine Feminine did all the hard work to achieve her goals of process, and these karmics came in and took her, tried to steal her identity theft, <laughs> tried to steal her identity and all that stuff like that because her future was brighter, and they did all this black magic and stuff, and now they have to serve the consequences of that, that Divine Feminine get to take credit for all the hard work that they did with the black magic and not get affected by it only towards the people that did it to her so it's like oh yeah i get to retaliate against y'all but the way that i am it ain't gonna be no deathly type stuff it's just gonna be like hi now you gotta watch me work just how divine feminine did like divine feminine knew that she was being attacked by these karmas and she still just sat there and you know had her poker face on because it's like it's not affecting me it's gonna go back towards y'all like yeah y'all think it's uh, i'm gonna be affected by it the most <clears throat> i don't know but now i'm about to shuffle so three months cleanse from past partner energies like i was supposed to do i was supposed to start my celibacy or abstinence in um <laughs> october but I'm starting now, so in January, I think it'll be the third month. So, something about Valentine's Day that you could possibly be meeting your new person, and that'll be your third month. Uh, for the Divine Feminine. Um, So what's happening to this divine masculine, this karmic masculine is doing to divine feminine because they're all working to keep this union apart. So if the masculine is with the karmic, divine feminine is not interested and divine masculine is hearing things about divine feminine being with this karmic masculine still. And that's when it clicked in his head. Like if she's such a hoe doing this and that and selling her body and blah, 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 why is she still with the same man that she's been with since I've, I've known her like? So ever since I ghosted her, she's been messing with this dude. Yeah. And then they say, oh, she be at the park all the time. I'm tired of seeing her. And it's like, she only be up there for a certain amount of time. Then she leave. And if she leaves, she leave. Like, every time she leave the park, she leave with this man. So it's clicking to Divine Masculine. Like, okay, maybe Divine Feminine isn't so thottish after all. Um, insecure, the end to something, danger, harm. Ask and you shall receive. So that's what this masculine needs to know. Like, just ask. Even if you're not leaving this karmic to, to see. It's like, that's what I was trying to do with my first baby mom. But then you left me for, what you call it? Because I did spiritually hear him say, don't go with him. And I, and I told him back, I'm like, well, claim me. <laughs> but the karmic masculine could have intercepted that and reversed it and said something else anyway so yo new connection y'all could be sitting down this says an oven but it looks like a microwave so like popcorn and brushing your hair or something yes And you want to cleanse yourself before you get to this new person because you don't want anybody attacking your new person. Like all that old energy and stuff that's going to die down, die off. Especially if you haven't been having sex with them. They don't have sex spells over you. Uh, you don't smoke after them. You don't drink after them. You don't exchange anything with them because there was an incident where my first time exchanging money with somebody. And they did exactly what my download said about go to the park and do yoga. Even if it's just a little stretch here, stretch there, you're not really doing yoga. It's like, okay, everybody, we're going to do yoga. Put your right arm up. and So by exchanging things with these people, that's also your energy. Uh, desperate. Fight, fight. And uh, trust the process is one step at a time. So what the process is, is you letting go of this third party situation that has not uh papa watch out third party situation that hasn't showed you any interest or tried to get at you or none of that stuff like in the beginning they were all for it but now it's like 
I think I made the wrong decision and I feel my person moving on. I thought she was going to eventually get tired of waiting and make the first move. But it's like, you the man, you want to be in control. So what are you talking about? Caught up in somebody else's tornado. Uh, emotionally open within arm's reach. Having plenty, not giving up. <laughs> Call me. Money. And a masculine feel like because he has money that it's not an issue that he could take care of you or whatever. He just needs a place to stay because maybe under his name you can't really get a place or something like that. Right I don't know, but moving forward, um, mm, mm.